Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw a Mockingjay pin from Catching Fire. We're going to start off by drawing a circle, and this is sort of the most important shape to get right, because a circle is only a circle if it's really round. So I'm just going to let my pencil find a circle shape, going round and around until I'm happy. There, I can work with that. And now I'm going to draw the spokes of a clock, because that's the basis of this image. Great. So next I'm going to indicate the thickness of the outer edges. Now at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock there are these small rectangles that curve in towards the middle. going to indicate where the wings will go. And we're going to have one wing comes up past the top, swooping down. These are just rough lines. And then another line underneath it. I'm going to refine these a little bit as we go, but that's basically where they're going to be. Something like this. So I'll just erase bits as I go improving the shape. So the body of the bird is going to be an oval, just down here in the bottom third of the picture, and we're going to make a swooping line for the tail. And it's going to come from the body, swooping down to a point, and then a longer point. I like that. Okay, then we're going to make the neck, and a triangle for the head, and a long triangle for the beak. And then we're going to start indicating where the feathers are going to go. So basically the shape is three rows of feathers. And here comes the first row. Now I'm just going to time lapse through this because you can easily pause or fast forward through tiny feathers on the inside. bigger feathers in behind, filling in this whole section. All right. And now the back wing, same thing. I'm a little unhappy with that, so I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Just proportionally, it should be a little bit lower than I was getting it to be. I might still make those smaller. We'll see as we go. And as we get closer to the bottom, the, the feather shapes start to level out. So I'm just going to keep on going over these lines till I'm happy with them. And there are some indications of feathers back here, but that's mostly in shadow, so we don't really need to pay too much attention to the details there. It'll be blackened out more or less. Right, I'm just going to narrow this in because I'm looking at my original and seeing that it needs to be a little thinner. And that's looking good. I'm liking it. Alright, now we're going to move around the side here. I'm just going to indicate where my circle lines go. And now we can work on the Mockingjay. So we're going to start off by going down the tip of the beak and up over the head in a curve up to this pointed edge and there's feather marks that come down through here and then under the chin and here we're going to come along the neck and up to the wings and here we're going to swoop under the belly and up and here we go we're just going to outline all of the tail feathers. This is such a graceful looking bird.
Alright, so all the details have been filled in here. We're ready to go in with our black marker and go over all the lines that we're happy with. So I'm just going to time lapse through this and we'll get it done quickly. You can pause at any time to match up your work with mine. So now we're ready to erase all of those pencil marks. This is my favorite part because we get to see our final work. It looks good. And now we're going to color the Mockingjay. And I'm going to use several colors of yellow and orange in this project because there are it looks like it's copper, bronzy, fiery, and in order to get that that highlight, we need to start off with a base that involves orange and yellow. So I'm just really faintly putting some orange down in most of the areas, especially the ones that I know will be highlighted. And then I'm going to press very firmly and get all of the all of the brightest highlights with yellow. All these nice bright areas. And this will give it a glinting metallic look. I'm just gonna put a little bit more orange in those in those little areas there. Now I'm gonna go over everything that's not already been colored with brown. Just to give it another further bit of base color. And I'll also start to indicate some of the darker areas by filling in with a darker pressure in some spots. Brown's not going to be my darkest undertone though, I'm going to also be using some black in this project. So still I'm just getting the colors in place. And you can pause at any time and see if you like your work. Now I'm going to use black. Still this is not going to be my last time through with black, but I'm going to go into all the areas that look the darkest on the project. All of the darker shadows along the edges tail feathers along the back of the body, along the edges of the wings, all the lines I drew in, in Sharpie can have a bit of black along them because that's what gives it three dimensions. Along the face, I don't want to lose that eye so I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in there right now before it gets too muddled. And again just filling in with black these areas to make it, give it some depth. Alright, just a little more black here and there. Now I'm ready to start putting in my color and I'm using a copper crayon. This is metallic and sparkly and I'm actually going to just go for it now. I'm going to press really firmly. I'm going to go over all of the colors I've already colored and smudge them together and fill in all the white areas. Lots of pressure here, lots of blending. And I may leave some of those yellow areas a little bit less pressure just so I can see more of the highlights as I go. This was a really fun project for me. I'm enjoying the shape of this bird quite a bit. It's very stylized. I can see why it's so popular. Alright, so I'm going to do some more orange now on top of my copper because I really want those highlight colors to pop out. Again, I'm just going over all the brightest areas filling in with some firm pressure now because I'm just going to go for it. I want to really color in this this piece. Okay. And now 
we'll switch again back to brown bringing in some more of the highlights and it may even need to be darker so I'm going to bring black out again and I'm going to pull in all darkest in all of those areas that it really looks very dark along the bird's back, along the bird's tail in the circle of the ring any of these shadowy areas just really makes it come to life and gives it three dimension I think we're just about there yeah, I think that's it alright, I hope you've enjoyed watching me draw this walking jay today and I hope you drew one too I'm on Instagram and if you've drawn this picture you could post it up and tag me in the picture so I could see your work and of course, like, comment, and subscribe on this video on YouTube.